When you've got lots of different projects, it's likely that you're going to need to have different issue types for each project. In our scenario here, we have a whole bunch of software development projects, but we also have this internal IT support one and a human resources project. Now, of course, the IT support and the HR project are not going to have the same issue types as our software development projects. So in this tutorial, what I'll do is show you how you can set up some issue type schemes so that your projects use a unique set of issue types. First, let's click on the issues tab. Now we're inside the administration area already. And here we have a whole bunch of our issue types. So this is the global list of issue types. We've already defined all the issue types that we're going to be using. What we need to do is put these issue types into different issue type schemes. An issue type scheme allows us to associate a subset of our issue types with our projects. We have a default issue type scheme here, and this scheme contains every issue type that is created. But what I wanna do now is add a new one, and let's create a software development issue type scheme. And in this issue type scheme, what we'll do is choose all the software development issue types. So for a software project, we're gonna have bugs, unfortunately. We'll have some new features to implement, we'll have stories, generic task and subtasks. Save that, and that is my software development issue type scheme. Next, we'll create one for our IT support. So we'll have an IT support issue type scheme. And for this one, we're going to have our hardware requests, software requests, generic support ticket, and a VM request. So these are the issue types we wanna use on our IT support project. Save that. And finally, we have one more, which is for our HR project. So call it the HR issue type scheme. And for this one, we have our expense application and our leave application. Save. So I've got my three issue type schemes now, and the last thing to do is to associate these with their projects. Let's start with our software development one. Click on associate, and pick all our software development projects from the list. Hit associate. So you can see now, these five projects are using the software development issue type scheme. For the IT support one, click on associate, and that goes with our internal IT support project. And finally, for the HR, we use our HR project. And that associates the relevant issue type schemes to the relevant projects. Now, if I go back to my user area of JIRA and I click on create issue, you can see here when we've selected our IT support project, these are the issue types we can create. If I choose my HR project, then I have just the expense and leave application, or if I choose one of the software development ones, I have the bugs, features, stories, and tasks. So that's using different issue types for different projects.